Mời quý vị tiếp tục cùng chúng tôi trao đổi với ông Winston Berry về những uh, triển vọng tương lai của các dự án khai thác dầu đá phiến uh, tại Mỹ cũng như là tại các nơi trên thế giới. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Berry. Uh, so the we all know that the oil price uh, has been fluctuated um, these couple of years. So do you have an, your own forecast about the oil price? Well, we've seen a 55% decrease in the price of oil mm. since October 2014. Yes. These, the oil is at a all-time basic low. Mm. If you look at the last 60 years at, at adjusted for inflation price of oil, it is in the range of $30. We've seen oil go up to well over $100 a few years ago. We see that it's stabilizing in the mid 40s through 2016, up into the low 50s, and then in 2017, stabilizing again at a normal price in the low 60s. Uh, so, with with that uh, forecast, how it would affect the production of the oil and gas regarding um, the new technology, the hydro of um, fracking, and also how would it affect the waste? Uh, uh, wastewater disposal. Uh, the 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 effects on the wastewater disposal are are minimal. Mm -hmm. uh, we have now seen currently all time high production figures for Saudi Arabia and Russia. Hydro fracking, we've seen the stabilizing oil production in Texas. We haven't seen a dec decrease in the amount of production. Price though has significantly decreased. Companies okay. still need to meet their cash flow requirements, so they're keeping production levels high. With our business, our primary business model is based on production. So, albeit the price of oil is low, production levels are still high, and we are still charging the same amount for the disposal of the water. Mm -hmm. our, pro our profit levels are lower, though, because of the one percent of oil that we do extract from the water. That price that resale value is lower but the basic business is strong because it's based on production we've talked about the process of the investment into this kind of uh, uh, industry yes. um, and the profits that uh, the investor would earn uh, after investing in this kind of projects uh, but is there any risks at all for uh, investment well, well the risk is that they're going to stop producing oil in Texas and that you, there are rare occasions, I've heard of one, mm. where they drilled an injection well and they couldn't put any water in it. Mm. Well, there are 35,000 of these wells in Texas. But uh, I, I think that the risk properly placed in looking at production of oil, mm. I think that the de we are a demand-driven business. We are a B2B business. So we follow the trends and what we've seen with current production levels maintaining their their high production levels that we feel the business is secure of course in any business there is a risk so so you say that a project would last for about uh, four to ten years well that's right? a producing well mm -hmm. uh, let's to be conservative a uh, a saltwater disposal well some of them lasted many many more years will last usually in excess of 20 years how about the investment? Would the investor take back uh, their money when they originally put in, or they would re, or, or you would sell the projects and then they well, would take Well, basically, back the what you're looking at, you should see some of these projects are in the middle of a vast field with mm. nothing around it, mm. and and it's just empty land. You don't have the appreciation that you would mm -hmm. on, let's say, a building in Ho Chi Minh City or an apartment. You're investing in cash flow. So you, you're investing that you're secure that you're going to be receiving a strong cash flow over a set period of time. Okay, so what would be the difference between investing in a waste disposal service project and the oil uh, producing project? Well, it's a producing project. You're investing on the speculation that you will be able to find oil mm. and that the wells are going to produce a certain amount of oil to cover your cash flow and to give you a return. You, in a well, you might invest th in, you might invest in it might only produce 50 barrels of oil a day. And if you're, if you're investing in a saltwater disposal well, you're investing in that 
all the wells in the area will be producing oil and they will need to get rid of the wastewater produced by that. So we are a, ba a service based business for the oil producers. In one area you might have eight, ten different oil producers mm. and then we service all of those different producers. Okay, so that would be much more conservative and uh, it would have less risks compared to other type of investments, right? Yeah, but, yes, there's, there's less risk, but also we bet that you know, the price of oil will go up because we have, in our business, we don't only have the revenue source from disposing of the mm. water, mm. we have the revenue source of taking that 1% of oil and if that price of oil goes up, our profits increase. We have the business of washing the trucks that bring the water to us, also selling the water back mm. after, for refracking, so we recycle the water after it's been cleaned by selling it back to the oil companies and selling them fresh water that they can make more brine to, to frack with. So many sources of income there. Well, we're very conservative that <laughs> way. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Winston Berry, that has wrapped up our discussion today. And thank you very much. And I think, I hope that the audience have uh, had a lot of uh, interesting information so that they would be more interested in these kind of investments. Thank you very much for well, coming here today. Thank you very much. And hand up live. Thank you. Kính thưa quý vị, chúng tôi vừa trò chuyện với ông Winston Berry, giám đốc của Trung tâm Phát triển vùng Tây Nam Bộ Austin, Texas về công nghệ khai thác dầu đá phiến cũng như là dịch vụ xử lý nước mạnh từ mỏ dầu và cũng hy vọng rằng quý vị đã có được những thông tin hết sức bổ ích và chúng tôi sẽ gặp lại quý vị trong các chương trình sau. Thu Trinh xin chào và hẹn gặp lại.